This is Sean. We are back over here today and doing the next portion of this job. So on this side, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna extend these gutters out to the pavement here. So pretty straightforward. We'll pull, we'll rake these back, get the trencher in here. It doesn't have to be very deep because it's gonna be covered in pine needles. So there's one, two, three this one's going across some lawn so we'll get that trench real nice and four here and 811 marks i don't see any marks so i don't know what that box is mm. yeah it looks like it so we're going to catch these gutters so you got one two three four five these are going to be trenched across here and out to the street and you can see what's going on here. Take a look. <clears throat> when the water lands in here, it's got nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So look at all the deterioration that we mm -hmm. have going on here. And so you got the, the air conditioners all the air conditions too. adding to it. Yep, so look at this. Mm. That water's got absolutely nowhere to go. What about the back one? So the ba so look over here we got a drainage basin. So there's a drainage basin there. So there's a good place to take the water to. So you ready for this, Mike? Going into the drainage basin, we're going to catch one. All the way. 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay. 8 9 10 11. All of it's coming this way. Yep. So this is where your six inch pipe comes. Yep. So the six inch pipe will stop at that seventh one and then we'll go four inch pipe around it. So six inch will go across here and we so may take a look over here. <clears throat> so all of these going to the basement. Yep. Take a look here. Mm -hmm. I see it. So what we're going to do, uh, Harvey's going to come over here with his skid steers and we're going to cut this whole bank off. So we're just going to come out of the bank somewhere. We're putting in some uh, riprap. Yep. We'll put in some riprap. So they come out there. We're going to come out a little lower, probably. Probably where you're standing, I would guess. Take a look behind you where we're at. Somewhere around in there. And you know they weren't. The water flows over here somewhere, but we're not really sure where. But. The property manager, he was like, if we can get the water over here, I don't care what happens to it. I after don't that. care about this section. Nope. So we're going to get this water over here and away from, and we're also going to try to reshape this little drainage ditch here if we need to once we get the dirt out of here. We're making pretty good progress here. We're going to get this gutter across to here. And we're just going to end at the parking lot right there because the water water already sheets across there. Let me know what you want. How's it look, Corey? Dang. What's wrong? Losing clothes. Losing all our fall. Mm -hmm. We gotta bring all this up. We ran into the footer right here, which is messing up our fall.
That damn footer, huh? Just right there the in our way. Thing's probably about like that. Yep. Just, just How's it going? Terrible, terrible. What's wrong? The trance went no good. Man, we have to do better trancing. I mean, the disc is just, I mean, out of the way. We got all of this in, and we're just getting things backfilled now. And if you look here, if you look at how flat that is across there, we had to fight it every single inch of the way to get proper fall on there. But we got good fall on it, so that's all that matters. We're heading on down over here. We're coming in along the side here. We're gonna transition from six inch to four inch up here. And Mike is just getting this all laid out. So we got a four inch Y right there. A sanita uh, sanitary, I mean a um, street 45 right there. Going over to this gutter. And then we got a regular 45 here. And then we're going around the side of the building right there to catch those other three gutters. So getting it laid out, about to start trenching. This section where we're transitioning into our six inch, I ended up digging with the small mini excavator here. And so because this back area was so flat, I had to try to achieve my fall by going deeper and deeper as I went along. And you'll see later in the video that we ended up having to come back and trench again and go much, much deeper just to be able to get the correct fall to have that, that long stretch of flat land and have that pipe falling like it's supposed to. So you can see Mike in the background back there laying out that pipe and getting ready to trench for the four inch section. But here I am starting up with the six inch section. Got a pretty good rock in there, so we'll have to bring the jackhammer over. finished for today so we got a lot done and we're almost to that corner over there so we're making our way around we'll be transitioning into six inch and then Corey's still going full blast over here we hit a rock Oh, about quitting time, isn't it? Yeah, 
I was trying to just keep going until y'all got done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are getting some progress done over here. So I wanted to show you really quickly. So the whole area up here is pretty flat and so we could have come across here with the water but I didn't want to do that because I didn't know where there's really no good place for it to go once it gets here so we've got some pipe coming across here and we're up out of the ground because we had to have we had to be high to get our fall right so we'll just put some or they'll put some pine needles back with that we're coming across here with four inch they're getting covered up here before I Got a chance to get it videoed so we got four inch there and then here we are dropping into six inch so we got a that's a six by six by four y right there and then that's a six by four bushing right there so now we're dropping into six inch a couple reasons for using six inch we got a lot of volume in here and we're fairly flat going across here so that six inch pipe just gives us a ton of volume so things are moving right along so there's another six six by six by four y going to that gutter Bubble. You got a full bubble right there? Full bubble flat. And what you got there? Full bubble. So what do we have to do? Raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up. So we save some of our fall. Yeah. Because we got to be careful. If we go too too low here, we're going to have to be even lower down here. Um, you want a shovel? You set me up. We're making a little bit of progress here and so we're getting this pipe this is what they call bedding the pipe so we put it all along the edge and pack it in really well on the edge that way we're going to use a machine to dump dirt on this and so that machine is going to dump so much dirt that if there are any hollow spots under the pipe it might want to make it sag so that's bedding the pipe right there these where we caught these downspouts we spend a lot of time and really work on these so you can see just how solid that is we just pack it in and bed it really well and that way everything stays where it's supposed to so when we backfill we're just basically backfilling the pipe and it's staying where it's supposed to so we had to get our excavator back in here because we were losing our fall going down here I dug it but I guess I'm not that good. Yeah, we'll leave right here on it. We can swing the sweep a little bit. Okay. You ready? Yep. Woo! That angle's not right. I can't get my feet in there. There it is. Right there. Yeah, I can't get it pushing. Good. Yeah, it ain't gonna go. No, hang on, hang on. He, he weren't in. You weren't in. You uh, switch, it. switch. We need Corey over here. Yeah. Glue it, glue it back up. Yeah, let me get it up on it. That's okay, Corey will get it. Yeah, I'll get it. Glue it on up a little bit more. Throw some primer and glue on it and we'll get it done. Yeah, prime the piss out of it. Make that something soft as a butter. 
Look at soft as there you go. That's what I should have done the minute ago. Yeah, give it some loving because that purple will put it softens that pipe up big time. There we go. Yeah. I get it. Smash it. You see that right there? <laughs> put them rocks on it and get it. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> now, if you can guide it, Corey will get it. Come on. All right, bring it in. Come on. It's not. There it is. Oh. Alright, now smash it down. Hey, shovel? Yeah, give me that shovel. Mm -hmm. it, it made up quite a bit. Here you go. It made up quite a bit. Here you go. It still, well, it still it made up quite a bit more there, didn't it, cuz? Mm -hmm. Here you go, Corey. Yeah. Full ball. Let's go up with it. Just like that right there. Okay. Is that right there, Corey? Yeah. Where's your second shovel? Round shovel. Oh, sure. Right by your hand. I'm gonna hold this over like that so we square him back up with the ditch. That's perfect. Whoa! Oh, that went that cheap level. Now that's bad aim right there. There we go. Now we square him up with it. How's she look? Oh, well, still. Look up a little bit or are you good? Yeah. Oh, I'm coming up with it right there. Right there. There you go. How's it look where your feet are for level? Who, mine? No. Oh, yeah. It should be flying. Good. That's what we want. Blue over there. What'd you do with it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who done that. Mangled it, don't mangled it. Okay, we're gonna take it out of its tape. What's that? When you're putting these on, you don't want it level. You want a little tilt. So Which we're way? Our grade. Which way are we tilting? Tilt that way. You want to tilt it that way so it's turning the grade up. If you put it level, then you, pop, well, you can bend it a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, it's good to get need? a little tilt. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, Man, Corey mangled that thing. Give me yeah. one. Uh, I don't operate this piece of equipment. Let's go with. Uh, yeah, we'll go with six inches. Six, six inches? inches of four inch. You see it, son? I had to learn to get neat with it. Yeah. We see it just around the damn off. Oh no. <laughs> what are you looking for? What are you looking for? Coupling. Coupling. So that's our last gutter get going into our six inch here. And we about hit China trying to get enough fall in here but luckily we are headed downhill down to the drainage basin or the drainage ditch down there so we're still having to be quite deep over here but we should be having to or we should be getting shallower so that's what it takes to get the right fall this is Sean we are out here it's the next day and my concrete contractors are here with their skid steer so they're giving me a hand with this we're going to do some grading over here, uh, cut down a little bit, and build up along the bank. So, let's take a look. So, 
this hump right here has to go. So we're going to take some of this and put it up against the building and try to build it up a little bit along here. Look at all this. This thing it just holds water, so we're correcting all that today. up against the wall. For the wall. Yep. So take some of this and put it high and put it over there. Let this one a little bit. Thank you. We grew it to it, blew it to it. Yeah, go away. Looks like we're just about at our last pipe. segment. Last piece of pipe. Good, too. Yep. How much Perfect. we got? Oh, oh, hey, just the right amount of pipe. Oh, yeah. It is. Nice. We'll have a little leftover piece. I like that when the boss can figure out what a man ain't got to, man ain't got to bring more back with him. Yep. Love it when that happens. Nice. Perfect. So we were coming across here flat, pretty much flat, so we had to dig super, super deep to get any fall and then the land kind of goes down right here so we were starting to sweat it a little bit to make sure we had enough fall here because the deeper you go the deeper you have to come out at so we're looking pretty good over here I watched that YouTube in a little bit last night professor what'd you think you look good on there don't you yeah as long as I kept my mug head Grab it, grab it. I watched one where y'all were in this backyard. Look, uh, in with a you're going to have to hold up on it while I hammer because it's putting so much. <laughs> it's got so much fall now, it's going to pull itself out the fitting. You laid a bunch of plastic down and filled the backyard full of gravel. Yep. That was a good video. Nice, nice. That little goober juice coming up out of there. Good deal, Corey. Right. How far are we going to come out around here? About where you're standing, maybe? I'd say... About where the rock is at. Probably just come out around here, maybe. Yeah. Or where the rock is. I mean, we got yeah. plenty of... We got one more stick of pipe, so we might as well yeah, come on out. Yeah, I'd there, yeah. Yep. So it's covered. Yep. How we look on our level there? Oh, that's fine. I can look at it right here. See, it is fine. Man, full bubble. Full bubble. Nice. So we tried to keep 
a quarter bubble coming across here, and then we we have plenty of fall at the end here. Good job, guys. All right, come on out of the way so Harvey can do his job. Good job. So it just started pouring, and it's lightened up a little bit here. But we were hoping to get this seeded and strawed today. So there's the first part, and it's kind of stopped raining here. But I wanted to come back over here. I had to leave early to go check out a different job. So the concrete guys finished up, and we were hoping to get this seeded and strawed today but it's just not going to happen for us so that's no sooner did we get this thing covered up it started raining so that much rain is producing that much water so we caught a bunch of gutters through this pipe and this even that little teeny tiny bit of rain that's a lot of water that was all landing along the foundation with nowhere to go and it was deteriorating the blocks so I really need to come out here during a good downpour and see how this is doing so the concrete guys just finished up take a look at this grade now let's see if I can get back here a little ways and check out how they corrected this so now it's sloping away from the foundation and over here into this little swale and <clears throat> we got a couple places where the gutters aren't working right there so we're going to try to address those but you can see that we took the grade quite a ways up on the on the building there to try to get it to any surface water to go across there but the main thing here is we caught the gutters so now all that gutter water and you can see all these downspouts all that gutter water is now ending up over here in the drainage basin where it's completely gone and you saw in the video we really had to fight with this thing to get we had to go super deep over here to get our fall correct but and we had a rock to deal with so but that's just how it goes spend, spend the extra time and get it right and this water will gush out of here like it's supposed to I'm back out here, it's the next day, and we've got a little bit more rain going on. So I wanted to come out here and take a look. That's just catching one gutter there. That's just catching one, and this is the last one that's catching one. Now this one is catching all of these across the front of the building here. So we got a pretty decent flow going through there. That's pretty cool. And then the monster pipe that we finished yesterday Let's see what's going on with that one. And we were trying to get our seed and straw done yesterday, but it just had to rain on us. So there's a pretty decent flow coming out of there, that's for sure. I gotta show Corey up. Yeah. Hey Corey, look how many I brought. <laughs> We're back here. It's, a, it's the next day. We're finally getting some straw in this. It's still pretty sloppy and wet out here. 
but this is it for this job except for doing a little bit of mowing across here with the brush hog so we really needed to get this done so luckily the guys were willing to come over here and play around in the mud get this done for us so that's what we're finishing up here that's the barrel I just brought over I'm back out here it's a couple evenings later and I wanted to check on this this one's flowing really well so look at that But I really came out here to check on the big one. Oh yeah. So look at all that water. That's a lot of water coming out of there. There's a lot of water coming out of this culvert too. This is Sean. I'm back here on this job and the last thing I have to do is the customer wanted me to brush hog a little bit of this margin here so i'm going to try to take this whole thing down just a little bit with that i've got the mini skid here with the brush hog on it so the nice thing about this is you can lift it up so for example this little pine tree here i'll be able to just come at it and kind of like a mulcher almost and take that back so i'm excited to get this done it's been raining the last couple days and so I was going to get this done a couple days ago, but the rain hit, and today it's been a couple days. I guess it's about, been about two and a half days without any rain. So let's see if we can get this knocked out finally.
if you notice right here, there's a big wet spot over there. And it, looking at the land right here, it looks like from there to there, it looks like it's a little bit high. So, along with cutting all this vegetation out of here to try to let it dry out a little better, I'm also going to cut just a little bit of this high spot out of here and dump it in a low spot. And I'm hoping that that will help to dry this area out. So let's see if we can get that finished. I just finished I reshaped this a little bit with the skid steer and tried to give that water a place to go it's quite level here so at, at the very least I spread out the water, water a little bit and then by getting rid of all that vegetation this whole area should stay a lot drier because it's now open to sunlight so I guess I'm about finished with this job so this has been a big big job and it feels good to have it done you can see the building there with the grade sloping away.